Hello everyone. This is part of Chapter 10, Rights of Students with Disabilities. The case that I'll be reviewing is Cedar Rapids Community School District v. Garrett F. It was heard before the United States Supreme Court, argued November of 1998, and the decision was handed down in March of 1999. Some background for you is Garrett F., when he was four years old, sustained major injuries due to a motorcycle accident, leaving him quadriplegic. He attended Cedar Rapids Community School District and uh, was wheelchair bound and dependent on a ventilator. Because of his physical needs, he required assistance both at home and during the school day. The family provided this care up to and through uh, Garrett's fourth grade, and it was when he entered fifth grade that the family then claimed that it was now the school's responsibility to financially provide health care services. You can see by the list the, some of the services that were necessary, including trait clearing, wheelchair repositioning, food and drink assistance, and then concerns around his respiratory needs, including monitoring the ventilator and being able to assist if there were ventilator malfunctions. The school district did uh, not think that it was their financial responsibility uh, for Garrett while he was attending school. They believed that uh, the one-on-one -on -one care uh, extended beyond uh, the difference between medical service or related services as required under IDEA. And the school district's contention from um, 617 related to uh, their belief that that Garrett was a child whose physical condition was so severe as to require constant nursing care that it fell beyond the related services requirement and went into the medical services realm. I'll discuss that more in a minute. They also felt that Garrett's care was cost prohibitive. This was first heard by an administrative law judge who did conclude that IDEA required school districts to provide school health services. And these were, could be provided by a qualified nurse or another trained qualified person. And that Garrett's was not, Garrett's needs were not uh, medical services, which were limited to those only provided by a physician. Uh, the school district appealed both to district court and the court of appeals, both affirmed the original decision and uh, stated that uh, the school district did need to provide one-on-one -on -one care, uh, that the cost prohibitive issue uh, was not a determinant factor and that Garrett's needs were not strictly medical in nature or as provided by what was um, outlined in IDEA. Questions before the court. Do schools that receive federal funding under IDEA have to pay for one-on-one -on -one nursing assistance for certain students with disabilities? And was Garrett entitled to these health care services? And did the district violate Garrett's right to services necessary for him to access a free and appropriate public education? The final decision, a seven to two with only with two dissenters, the court, uh, Supreme Court held that if services in question are related to keeping the child with disabilities in school and able to access educational opportunities and those being a free and appropriate public education in the least restrictive environment that are available to others, then those IDEA funded school districts are required to provide services. Uh, the cost of providing these IDEA related services is not determinative of whether their financial burden must be met. So the bottom line is that the benefits of providing Garrett with his needed care outweighed the burdens to the cost of the district. From page 617, this is the last part of the decision by the court. thought it was important to note. Uh, the court said it's undisputed that the services are at issue must be provided if Garrett is to remain at school. Under the statute precedent that we've learned in class tonight and the purposes of IDEA, the district must fund such related services in order to help guarantee that students like Garrett are integrated into the public schools. That 
is the decision. Thanks for watching.